Floss Tube. Hello, Floss Tube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep Stitching, episode 296. What are you laughing about? Because I said 290. <laughs> that is 8, not 9. Uh, but I quickly flipped it to 9. Uh, six. So, wow. Okay. Three plus three plus forty-five plus forty-five plus wow. two hundred is two hundred ninety-six. Let's move it along. Yeah, let's move it along. Math. Thank Welcome so back, much. everybody. Hello, people. Thanks for stopping by. Happy to have you with us. It's another Sunday night here in uh, Southwest Ohio. Southwest Ohio. It's been kind of a weather-wise. It's been kind of a can't decide day. Yeah. Uh, it's like kind overcast. Of but Cloudy, with not of sunshine. doing anything. It just kind of like, but that's okay. We have we have uh, we and have that, a wonderful baseball game to watch this afternoon. And that was your weather report. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we hope you've had a good week. And uh, you might not know this, but this is a YouTube channel about cross stitch. Right. Sorry, my eyes water when I laugh. So weather. There you go. So she's constantly wiping her eyes because I, I am hilarious. Yeah. Pretty much. Thank Welcome so to much. our life. Thank you so much. Okay. So anyway, uh, we have been uh, uh, stitching. Yep. And um, living the dream. And living the dream because it really is. Why not? You know. You know. It's just paradise. It is. <laughs> Every day with me is paradise. Every day. Um, we've seen a lot of postings on social media about folks that we know. Uh at the Quilters Station Retreat. So we hope everybody had a fantastic time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we like to give ourselves credit that we encourage you to go. So, oh, yeah? Uh, you know, God forbid people hear about it know, on their own. We, we jabbered on about it enough that our friends Lisa and Crystal were there. Mm -hmm. And our friends Justine and Shelly were there. And our friend Missy was out there, too. So, um, anyway, seeing a lot of pictures from that, um, been dealing with, you know, it gets to be about March, April, whatever, Pam starts thinking about things that need to be fixed around the house. Mm. Um, this is a, how old are you going to be? 36. So it's, uh, the house is the same age as Steph, so everything is falling apart at the same time. Including so, me. <laughs> Thank you so much. So we've been dealing with um, plumbers and, you know, landscape people and all that jazz. Mm -hmm. Fun times. Yep. So, um, anything new with you this past week that I don't know about? There's nothing. You know, we live together. Yep. I have nothing. If you didn't know. Cross-stitch work. That's it. That's it. Cross-stitch and work. Which, which is, is cross-stitch. Which is pretty much it. Yeah. You know, so. All right. Let's do a hashtag. What? All right. So our hashtag here at Just Keep Stitching is hashtag Stitch Harmony. It is our attempt at connecting stitchers together. So if you are looking for a local stitching friend and try as you might, you haven't been able to find one on your own and you would like our help in tapping in to our uh, collective, the JKS universe, as they would say. Yeah. I don't know who says that, but we say it, so. Yeah. Uh, and trying to find you a local fr stitching friend, we would be honored to do so. Right. So, all that we ask is that you put your name and where you live in the comment section below this video. Uh, and then every week we pick one of those comments and we share them with the world. And there's that. So, yeah. who is this week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter, Pam? This week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter is... A lovely lady named Susan Miller. Hi, Susan. Hello, Susan. And this is what she wrote. Hashtag Stitch Harmony. Right at the top. We love it. Makes it real easy for me to find in the comments. Yep. And she wrote, you would think that in Chattanooga, Tennessee, I would have many stitchy friends. But, alas, nope. I do not. Nope. I am sad that I don't have an LNS either. I would have to travel three and a half hours to Johnson City, wow. I think, she says, I think. Anyway, I am feeling pretty lonely in this southern scenic city. I need a friend. Okay. So, Chattanooga. So, let's show you where Chattanooga, Tennessee is. Yeah. Chattanooga, Tennessee. 
They also have the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum in Chattanooga, Tennessee. We're not interested in railroads today. We're interested in stitches. Well, I know. I was just telling you. Okay. So. Here is a swath of the country. Okay. So up here. That is Cincinnati. See the blue dot? That is me and Pam. Then you travel down through Kentucky to Tennessee. So, let's zoom in on Tennessee. Oh, don't worry, Pam. I'll show you in a second. Okay, so there is Tennessee. Okay. North Central is Nashville. And you just keep going south all the way to the bottom the bottom border between uh, Georgia and Tennessee and there is Chattanooga in red so and she thinks the nearest shop is in Johnson City well there's no shops in Georgia as far as I know not in Georgia, Tennessee. I know, but Georgia's very close to Chattanooga. Oh. So. But Johnson City is in Tennessee. Okay. So, uh -huh. that is Chattanooga. And as you can see, Google highlights the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum. Okay. So. Get off the trains. You get off the train, Pam. So, if your ears perked up because you live in around nearby within driving distance or a train ride to Chattanooga, Tennessee. And you would like to stitch with sweet Susan Miller. They put all the trains in the museum. There are no running trains anymore. Ever? Anywhere? Not in around Chattanooga. Someone's going to correct you on but, that. But, uh, you know, you've heard of the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Chattanooga Choo Choo? You know. She nope. has not. No idea what you're talking you about. You have, though. Nope. nope. And that's where the... Don't tell her that you know what it is if you don't it is. Uh, but that is that is why um, there is a railroad museum there. It's because of the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Okay. Well, so if you live in around nearby within driving distance of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Yeah, there has to be stitchers there. Come and on. you would like to stitch with come Susan on. Miller, then please comment on this video yeah. and say, Hi, Susan. Yeah, say hi, Susan, right up front so yes. that she'll see it yes. as she goes down through the comments. Correct. After she watches this video. Yes. Uh my name is, insert name here, I live in around nearby within driving distance yeah. of Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I'd love to sit with you. Right. So that is up to you, Mrs. Miller. Well, I don't know if you're Mrs. Miss Susan Miller, whatever. Uh, then you can comment on those comments, and you guys can go back and forth, have a little convo. Right. Set up a meetup. Correct. And stitch together. That is our hope. And dream for you. That is our hope. You and know? the last thing you give up is hope. hope. Truly. All right. Okay. So, Chattanooga. Stitchers. Stitchers unite. unite. All right. Okay. All right. We'll be hopeful for you, sister. You know, we surely will. As we are with all of our Stitch Harmony adventures. Yes. Okay. Oh, my God. Nope. Just me. <laughs> that means it's time for Pam's pin comment. And Trace. Pam's pin comment is the one comment of all the comments we got after last week's video. Yep. That you know. Don't slam the table, Pam. Tickle my fingers. It's a two-pager. Oh, boy. Everybody's it's settling. A, it's a two-pager, people. It's good. Now, this person actually commented, and I saw it shortly thereafter. Within five minutes, I saw it, and I went, that's, that's it. Pam's pin comment for Sunday. Yep, right? That's it. Then the little sneak went back and edited it oh, shit. and made it even funnier. Oh, no. All right, Catherine. This okay. is from Catherine Titus. Yes. Which is a name I do recognize. Catherine really? Titus. Yeah. Well, good. Oh, I know why. Uh -huh. I'm sure you do. Just wait. Yep. All right. So this is what Catherine Titus has to say. Hang on. Put your drink down. Get ready. She's coming. Yeah, I know. Okay. I see that. Okay. First, a disclaimer. Yes. I was watching your YouTube on a flight. Okay. From Atlanta to LAX. Got it. I purposely purchased Wi-Fi so I could listen to floss tubes on my way home from a week-long vacation. That's so sweet. I was enjoying a double Bloody Mary 
Okay. After Catherine. a four hour delay in my flight, Ooh. when my giggle fit started with Steph consistently giving Pam a hard time about fabric count and fabric maker. Well, she, Pam just never knows. <laughs> So I gotta keep Steph, all that info. your gestures, your eye rolls, and whispering info to your mom was priceless. Thank you so much. I have that same experience with my daughter, but it's usually in regards to my lack of technical skills. Mm. Hello, welcome to the club. The club. Mm -hmm. Then my giggle fit started to escalate uh -oh. when you both started your banter back and forth in regards to Teresa Kogut and her Michigan styled mystery seabirds. You know. Catherine, mm -hmm. you weren't yeah, no. the only one. We have been straightened out in that department. We sure have. At that point, Catherine says, I laughed out loud and spit my drink out. Oh, boy. I needed extra napkins. That is a waste Called the flight attendant, night. since I think my drink rained a little on the man oh, sitting in front of me. hilarious. That's quite a spit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, truly, that's, you got some distance. <laughs> that's what projectile. Bloody Mary. <laughs> Ladies, 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 I really think you need to edit in warnings to your floss tubes. Mm. <coughs> Second page. Mm. The next sip came out of my nose when the white birds were being discussed. I now have had several neighbors and an airline attendant, which she hit the button. <laughs> she never mentions that she hits the button, by the way. Well, that's the only way you get them to come. Or they could just be walking by. Possibly. Fly them down. Trying to figure out what the crazy lady was gagging and laughing it's about. Very gagging. Exciting. Really, Catherine? Gagging? It's getting extraordinarily exciting. I'm when saying. I tried to explain what a floss tube was, yep. <coughs> they looked mystified and decided to give me a very wide berth. Can you see it? She's in a three-seater and the other two just up and leave. Mm. I don't blame them. However, <laughs> however, the young woman sitting next to me was quite intrigued. I don't, yep. Sure. And wanted to hear more. Oh, did she now? I think I might have made a new stitchy friend. Well, isn't that lovely? She said, I love, I love you two incredible ladies. I look forward to ha -ha, meeting you at StitchCon. Yeah. Catherine, I cannot wait. Catherine. You need to wear your um, name tag prominently, so. And drink a Bloody Mary on the flight here. Yes, a double, please. Yes. Because. Okay, so what did you do with Catherine's comment, Pamela? I pinned it to the top of all the comments after last week's video. Fantastic. And we thank all of you. We sure do. And especially Catherine this week. For, your for all of your comments. Yes. We sincerely appreciate them. Yes. And enjoy them. Yes. And we thank you for taking the time to comment. We sure do. All right, okay. let's talk about stitching, shall nope. we? Nope. Nope. Yeah. <gasps> I forgot. We're not going to talk about stitching. Did yet. you know we have a new segment? <laughs> and we have a sound effect to go with we it. We do. I even have the sound effect ready. All right. Ready? That last note seems a little off. Does it? Yeah. Well, would you rather it be this? That does sound better. Really? So do two, four, six, and eight. Well, they're not numbered their letters. But so you know what I mean. D F A C. B F A C. Really? C E. Okay, that was our musical interlude. Actually, that's our sound effect for oh. our new segment. Yes. Silver and gold. Yes. Silver and gold is our new segment where we give you a couple of floss tube channels to check out. Um, the silver being a new and, um, you know, silver, shiny, like the old Girl Scout song. Mm. Um, and then a gold floss tuber, whom uh, we have known for quite some time. Yeah. And, One of the tried and true faves. And ones we always, always watch. Yes. Okay? Not that we don't always watch the new ones. But, right. But, you know. You know. Thing, yeah. Holy moly, they're popping up like, mm. you know. All right, so our silver floss tuber is a woman named Samantha. And Samantha is Canadian. She lives in Winnipeg, Manitoba. We love a good Canadian. We do. We really do. We truly do. And her channel is the Huga Stitcher. And you're like, what? Mm. 
Okay, Huga is primarily a Danish slash Norwegian term for a way of life that is removed from the hustle and bustle and involves lots of comfort, like a quality of coziness and comfortable correct. convitality. Conviviality, conviviality. Yeah, conviviality. That engenders a feeling of contentment or well-being, mm -hmm. and this is how it is pronounced. Huga, 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 huga. Yes. Maybe I didn't quite get it correct. So let me tell you about. Sorry, right, we'll forgive you. Let me tell you about Samantha. Samantha has all the smiles and enthusiasm and passion for cross stitch. Yes, you could ever ask for in a floss tube channel. We love that. And she has been making floss tubes since August of 2021. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe in terms of how she's numbering her floss tubes, I think she makes them about once a month and she starts to renumber at the new year. Mm. So if you add up all of her floss tubes since oh, August of 2021, she's made 22 floss tubes. And um, what does she like to stitch? She likes to stitch mirrors and she likes to stitch um, the uh, Leela Studio seasonal samplers. I believe fairly oh, like recently. The summer one? She finished the summer one and of course she's all hepped up. She only has the, two. Two what? Only has oh, two. okay. So the new one that just yeah, came yeah. out at market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So check out Samantha. Yeah. Uh, you will just love her. She is just, if we ever get to meet her, she has just got the most pleasant, um, enthusiastic mm -hmm. personality. Yeah. And um, so we recommend her. Very much so. As far as a gold floss tuber, we want to mention a very old friend of ours. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess the last time we saw her was at Quilters. Um, she was at Quilters? Yes. Remember? Okay. I saw her in line and I went, oh my gosh. Look yep. Who, look, yep. Yeah. And, and that's our friend Marlene. And she is stitching by the lake. Yeah. We love her so much. Uh I'll never forget the first time I met yep. her. She came up to me and she put both her hands on my yep. face and she looked at me and she said, you're so pretty. That's exactly and, what she did. And I said, I'm going to die now. Yeah. Because Marlene yep. said I was pretty. Yeah. It was amazing. That was at the first Stitch Con in 2018 when we were at the um, uh, La Quinta, the very first Stitch Con. We only had 150 people. And I was standing right there when Marlene did that. Marlene is a mm -hmm. retired gal who used to be a school administrator mm -hmm. of elementary grades, I think. Yeah. I and I'm going to tell you what. She has been on Floss 2 for six years. Mm -hmm. And she, when As she likely. first started making floss tubes, yeah, around the time we started, yeah. you know, she would sit there and, and, and say, you know, um, I'm 70, y'all. <laughs> she is down in... Hot, Hot Springs, Springs Arkansas. Arkansas. And um, she, I think, just went back to Quilters okay. Um, okay. this spring. Okay. So uh, you might meet her at a retreat. She is an absolute Lovely. gem of a person. Just she really, really like is. Like sitting down with a friend. She really, really is. Mm -hmm. And um, we love you, Marlene, if you're watching. And... Um, we hope you're doing well, mm -hmm. and um, we love your video. Um, we hope that you check out Marlene too. Um, she's made about ninety-four um, episodes, and That's there's awesome. no set schedule. No. Um, no. I don't believe, but no. she is still actively stitching, mm -hmm. and um, her projects are beautiful, and mm -hmm. uh, you'll just love her personality. Yeah. So, that's our silver and gold offerings for you this week. There you go. So, enjoy. Okay. All right. Now, let's talk about stitching, shall we? We shall. What have you been stitching on this week, Steph? Well, we do see. <laughs> Pam, calm down, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, beautiful. I um, have been working on my second... 
Whipco poll of the month. And it is, ready? Oh boy. Kids are lilies from Heartstring Samplery. So I started, I saw this live and in color at Market in 2020. I saw the model and in Beth's group. And it literally stopped me in my tracks. Like I would, I would just... Busy rocking around buying stuff, doing the da, 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 da. and then we walked in her room and I literally just stopped. Yeah. And it was there on display and it was ginormous and I was like, I I need to stitch this. Mm -hmm. Like it's so So what count was that model? Twenty eight. It was on twenty eight? Yeah. Holy the call for the call for it so the stitch count of the piece is four hundred and thirty five by three hundred and fifty three. It's a big girl. So, and then the model is stitched with one thread over two on 28 count. Wow. Yep. Yep. Super wow. prim like. Super yeah. prim. -like. I loved it. Oh, I loved it so much. Okay. Okay. Um, but I also like didn't want it to be that big. Right. right. So right. um, I mean gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and I know that a lot of people have stitched it. Uh, you've seen a lot of, I'm sure if you're on social media, you've seen a lot of like <clears throat> progress pictures and this and that. And so I don't mean to just add to the pile of, oh, does somebody else stitching consider the lilies? But um, I haven't seen anyone do it on the fabric that I'm doing. So that's yeah, a bonus, I guess. I don't know. Um, it, it definitely is. So, Your um, choice is amazing. Thank you. So I like what I see on this cover. Mm -hmm. Okay. From a fabric perspective, the call for fabric is winter brew from R and R and this does not look like winter brew. No, it's sort of lighting. Yeah. So this is very like blown out, blown out is yeah. a yeah, phrase. So, um, which is fine. Yeah. But I like, I know what I like, you know? Right. So plus if I'm being totally honest, winter brew and R and R is just hard to get. Yeah. So, um, and whatever. So I'm stitching mine on 40 count. Uh, Murmur is the color name from Picture This Plus. So I can't remember if I had this in my stash or if Katie Goss gave it to me. I don't know. Yeah, right. right. But um, it's perfect for the piece. And it's, I think it's, after I show it to you, I'll check. But I think it's a fat quarter. So. So where I did was I started, and so I started this at, uh, in the fall of 2020, and I started it top center. I didn't start over here, I didn't start over here, I stopped right here. Because I knew that if I just did the border first, I would get so bored so fast and I would hate it. Because <laughs> this border is serious, okay? It is serious, people. These flowers, each one of them, the Petals are one color, then the insides are two colors, and then you have the green of the board. Like, it's a lot. Okay, it's a lot. Uh, this is not a quick stitch, as they say. It's not. Um, and then I also got to thinking that um, I think that this is hands down the largest piece I'll, I've ever done. Um, and so it will be like a heirloom piece, whatever, Definitely. whatever. Definitely. Um, and so I have an intention of changing this quote here. So it currently reads, consider the lilies of the field. They, ne they neither toil nor spin. Okay. So, um, I have a few ideas picked out, um, as I want this to be like a recovery quote situation so my goal my ultimate goal is to have this at least have the stitching finished by my 10th sobriety anniversary which will be if all goes as planned it will be in february of 2027 right so that's four years from now yeah so mm -hmm. um that's the plan so mm -hmm. so i started in the top center and then came down and 
I think the best part about it is that there's so many little motifs. I know that a lot of people have said this, so I don't want to keep repeating myself, but or repeating what other people have said, I should say. But it's nice when they're like, yeah, it's a huge piece. It's very intimidating, sure. But if you break it down motif by motif, <coughs> it's like all these little finishes and it's quite rewarding. So I have really ha not had a ton of stitching time in the beginning of this year. And so to be able to sit down and in a couple nights get a motif done, you feel kind of accomplished. So especially on a piece this large. So um, this is where I am at. I know that you're all screaming, just shut up and show the cross stitch already. Okay. So, yeah. Alrighty. So, like I said, started up here, and then I came down to this giant motif at the top there, and then right here in this space is the initials in the year. Um, I'm obviously not going to put the year in yet because, hi. Um, and so then I moved over and did this butterfly here, which was super fun. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six shades of brown, five or six shades of brown in that one butterfly. Like, it's wild. Um, and then I did this little flower right here. And then um, this, what's happening here is... Um, a bunch of flowers coming off of a vase or vase or whatever. Um, so I'm working my way over to the top left corner. And that is what I'm doing. So um, there's a really fun flower that's at the top of this vase that kind of goes like up here. So that'll be really fun. But I really love this butterfly. I think it's so pretty. I'm obsessed with the colors. I'm using all of the called for threads. So, the only thing that I changed was the fabric. Um, so, and when it is all said and done, this is on a fat half of fabric. So, and that's on 40 count. So. I can't even imagine the 28 count. Oh, so yeah, it's probably a whole yard. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, I mean, it was huge. It was huge. It was absolutely stunning. But your fabric is gorgeous. Oh, thank you. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's sort of like a peach. It is a very pale, pale, pale peach. Yeah. <coughs> so it's not like right. a beige. It's not a brown. It's literally exactly what this picture looks yeah. like. Yeah. So, um, and that's exactly what I wanted. So, um, I'm very, very, very much enjoying this. So much so that I might abandon my whip go plans for it. I haven't fully decided on that. Uh, every time she holds it up, I'll say, I think you should just keep going. I think you should just keep going on it. I just, I really, 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 really like it. Yeah. So, oh yeah, these are my ideas for quotes, but. Oh, gotcha. Um, so, yeah, and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, murmur. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, yep. So, that's all I've been doing this week, so it's not that exciting, but, um. Absolutely gorgeous. It's just really, really pretty, and I'm really, really enjoying it. So wonderful. Um, I feel like I could have like this be my home piece. <coughs> Excuse me, and then like I have a different project as like my traveling project, like the one I take to retreats and like okay. when we go to Europe. And so I don't want to. This is a huge project. I don't want to really take it around. No, with me, you know. Right, right, right. Yeah, I. Yeah, I mean, I, I would take it to show it to people if somebody mm -hmm. wanted me to do that, but um, right. to take all the threads and do all the things is like just sounds like a lot. So, right, right. Um, yeah, so that is what I've been working on. Consider the Lilies by Heartstring Samplery. It's amazing. I just talked about that for almost 10 minutes, so sorry about that. No, no, no. Okay. Um, okay, so per usual. If this, you have, would be a, this would be a good time to pause. Yep, take a pee. Get a yep. drink, get a snack, <laughs> some sustenance, because Pam has 700 whips she's about to show you. So <laughs> No, not 700. Uh-huh. Uh, maybe about seven. Okay. Okay. Let's see if she can get through that in 15 minutes. Uh, I probably can't. Um, I have been um, doing both my second whip go for April, as well as following my daily sal schedule. Mm. I am 
up to, but have it started, um, my 13th cell that I have jumped on. Oh. And I came up with a alternating two-week schedule, um, seven days, seven mm -hmm. days. And that I two just... Weeks. That's two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then um, I... Um, have two empty slots, but I have things to go in there. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have been on uh, the, <coughs> let's just call it the Halloween week mm -hmm. schedule mm -hmm. this week. Mm -hmm. So, um, of course, they're not in that order, but. Well, you, you said it didn't matter what order they were in. It doesn't. So, um, let's talk about whip go first. Okay. Maybe that would be the best. Whatever thing. you want to do, Pammy. So, um, my first whip go for April. We're moving project bags for that too, but after the video. Okay. My first, um, so whip go draw was another 14 days on the Halloween, uh, project. The Halloween project. I mean, the Wizard of Oz project. Okay. Sorry. It's okay, ma'am. We'll follow um, you anywhere. And so what this is going to be, it's going to be another huge piece. Yep. It's going to contain all of the Brooks Books characters from the Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. at the top, it's going to have the Satsuma Street Emerald City mm -hmm. at the top. Yep. So um, I spent 14 days in April on this project and what I was able to do is do the Wicked Witch and the Flying Monkey. <laughs> so I will hold up those two. We're working from bottom to top. This wasn't, you didn't show this last week fully done? No, okay. I don't think I had had the monkey done. I posted it on Instagram, okay. but okay. I don't think I had had the monkey done. So okay. we're up to here. I got you. Because I had the witch done. Oh, yeah. And I had part of the monkey. I think I had most of the monkey, oh, except I hadn't done wings. his wings yet. Got it. So um, above those two yep. is the wizard himself. Yep. Which, um, when it comes up on Whipgo again, will... Oops, I got bent. Um, I will be. Um, there he is, little yeah. weasel. Yeah, I will be um, doing the wizard at the very, very top. Look at him! Look at his pants. All by himself. Mm -hmm. And he then, is the mayor of the Munchkin City. No, he's not the mayor. He I is know. the wizard. I know, but I just like saying the mayor. And then at the very top. I wonder if it was It's going to be the Emerald City from Satsuma Street. Yep. Okay. Sure is. And then that whole project will be done. But it's on my whip go more than once so that I can, I think it's on there three times. Yep. So. Um, this is the second time it's come up. Yep. So that <laughs> is the Wizard of Oz project. And that was my first whip go. And this is stitched on 28 count, 32 count. 32 count summer sky joe summer blue. Summer sky joe blue. Right. From white shorts. Right. And Using then, what? Nothing. Um, my second whip go mm -hmm. was uh, the goal set was a finish. Oh I don't think I'm going to finish it by the end of this month. I don't think that you anticipated how intense this was going to correct. be. Correct. Correct. So It's um, been very tense here at the Schaffner House, okay? <laughs> well, Pam's this is, you this is a picture of somebody else's. Um, but this is from Tempting Tangles. Mm -hmm. And it's called Quakers in Scotland. Mm -hmm. And it basically looks like this. And um, so when I picked it up, I had the sails of the ship and I had a couple of castles on the hill. And so I thought, yeah, you know, just do this part and then just do this part and you're done. 
Mm -hmm. So what I've discovered, like Steph said, is that um, this part that I'm on mm. is uh, essentially full coverage. Yeah. So <clears throat> this is what it looks like so far. Mm. It's on 32 count fog from PTP, yep, right? It is, yep. And <clears throat> this is what it looks like oh, so boy. far. And I don't know whether you can tell. Steph can hold yep. it better. But on this side here are a couple of unicorns. Mm -hmm. But I did get the Loch Ness Monster in. Mm -hmm. And I'm down here in the... There's some floral designs in here. Yes. And then <clears throat> along the water, mm -hmm. like where the where Nessie is, mm -hmm. and then there is um, some pretty big uh, oh, my bad. floral designs along the bottom. Yes. So, I don't know. I've got another week, obviously, of April to work on it, but... But you're also working on all your cells. But I'm also working on all my cells. So, I don't know, but this that's a weekly goal. A so year, yearly I mean, yearly goal, goal so... Um, yeah, so I can go time. back to it and do it like uh, whenever, whenever I am so inclined. Yes, absolutely. So that. those were my two whip goes. Yep. Now shifting to sows. Let's do a sow shift. Yep. Let's do a sow shift. So my favorite part is I have all these charts clipped together with a baby wonder clip. I know. I mean, we do have paper clips in the house, Pam. I know. Okay. Okay, so last week mm -hmm. on Monday, mm -hmm. it was Animal ABC. Okay. So, and this is the pattern. It's from Janine at the Blue Flower, and it looks like that. And on Monday, I was able to finish the D for dragonfly. So it looks Love like it. that. There you go. Yeah. So it was a pretty easy aardvark, bat, uh, cheetah. cheetah, and dragonfly. Yep. And it goes across so E for um, egret. Uh, let me check. Elephant? No, it's emo. a bird. Emo, I think. Yes, emo. Emo. So, um, <laughs> what, um, what is that commercial that's got the emu in it? Oh, that, and Greg. <laughs> yeah, that's stupid insurance commercial. Yeah. Lemu, emu, and Greg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. It's stupid. Pam. It's stupid. And you're stitching it using all the call for threads on the call for fabric, which is 32 count sampler green from x Designs. <laughs> And okay. the threads are DMC. Project so that was Monday. Please. Okay, we're doing a project bag. Switch over in here. Um, then on used? Tuesday, it was Tuesday, Tuesday. Live on Little Cell. And, okay, so this is what we're going to be doing. In the description box is going to be all of the cell information with the hashtags and the hosts, if they're not Pam, and all that kind of stuff. Because okay. I feel like you explaining... Do you have room in the description Yeah, box? that's what I've been doing for weeks now. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't check it. But I don't want you to feel obligated to say oh, all the okay. things. Oh, okay, so it's all in the description box, yeah, yeah, essentially. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is Live on Little from Plum Street. Live on Many Little. Many of you have seen it. Linda down in Florida has finished hers. And... And this cell is was hosted by whom? Well, or is it not a cell? Well, it is a cell. Well, it is a cell. Cell. It's mostly, I guess, Lynette. Who, oh yeah, it was who, on the farm. Coordinates the, farm. the um, stitching at the farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every okay. autumn. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I, was, I couldn't remember. Sorry, Lynette. So some of us kind of got started on it last fall at the farm. Yes, but. Other people who weren't at the farm right. are also working on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they may be using the hashtag. I don't know. Who knows? So, um, this is the one piece I took to Albuquerque. And I actually put in 
the three nautical flags on the sailboat oh. um, while I was at Nate and Katie's. Sure do. And so this is my Oh, I little. love it so much. And the part that I stitched was... And I haven't done the main color of the water. Right, the background. Right. So I'm down below the little church, and there's one sail of the sailboat. Oh, there's some waves. And then she gave you the whole uh, alphabet of nautical flags. Dang, Pam. What? Those are so good. Those are so good. And... So I put the flags in while I was out there. Oh, I know. And then I finished the... Um, Look at that little sales. fish. Look at that little fish. Yeah. Isn't it cute? Yeah. And this is on 36 count hog bristle. Right. From Fox and Rabbit. Yep. Mm-hmm. And all of the called for threads. Right. Take that. Thank you. Yep. Now, the next two days of that week are currently blank. Yeah. So this past week, I spent it working on Quakers in Scotland. Oh, gotcha. Which, gotcha, which gotcha. I've already shown. So then we get to Friday. Yep. Yeah. And I am in the historic houses. Sal. Sal. That is hosted by Stitch Brat on yeah. Instagram. Yep. And a lot of us are doing Debbie Patrick houses. Yeah. And so I jumped on this sale because I have a couple of Debbie Patrick houses. And one of them I have is the John Steinbeck house in Salinas, California. Mm -hmm. And if you've ever read any Steinbeck, especially East of Eden, um, or are a reader in general, um, I'm enjoying this. Cool. Now, this is on... 32 count something, 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 something from Fortnite Fabrics. And I'm not sure. Is it Fortnite Fabrics or Mystic Fabrics? Fortnite. Okay. And I love this color for this pattern. Yeah. But the fabric tag is in handwriting, and I'm not sure I have the name of the fabric correct. Okay. So... But Where's it the tag at? Um, Here, I'll show it. And I've looked on their website, and I don't... It's on my Instagram post. You'll have to check it. Okay, okay I will do that. So I don't know whether it was a one-off or what. So this part that I worked on on Friday is this gable right here to the front door. This part right here. And true to form, um, because of the vintage of this design, this is from 1990, um, no, 2005, not as old as I thought. Hmm. Uh, there are some blended threads. So, um, move this silly needle mark out of the way. This is as much as I got done. <laughs> Whoops. Let's do this. Yeah, this little part right here. Okay. So, it's not much, but it looks really good in person. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks really good on camera. And the fabric is kind of got a slaty, cementy look to it, I feel like. It's beautiful. So, it's fun, but it's very intense. It is very intense. See, it's got, it's kind of like a, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, well, a fat eighth of fabric, so not too bad. Yeah. That's so that's crazy. It's only going to be that big. Wow. Wild. Yeah. Historic. Wild times. I think it's historic houses sell. It sure is. 32 cat. Oh. Yeah. I, I don't think I have the name right. So that's why I'm not going to say. Yeah, but it is from this. Fort. It is from Fortnite, and I don't know what I did with the slip. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I just looked at your Instagram. And I was like, don't know what that is, but okay. No, I'm sorry. No. Okay. okay. And then next, 
Next victim, please. Saturday was, yesterday, was the Market 2023 sale. Yeah. Which means you stitch on something that was released at Market this, this year. Mm -hmm. And I am doing 5 o'clock from Ink Circles. When I first saw this on Instagram, our friend Katie Glass is in um, the Ink Circles Patreon. And I quizzed her real quick and I said, you know, do you have this? And she did, but I didn't ask to borrow it right then. I was involved in other things and I ended up buying my own copy. So anyway, that is uh, five o'clock. Mm -hmm. You guys, it's so cute. And yeah, see, I look at it and I know exactly what I was doing while I was mm. stitching it. Yep. Um, I have that immediate flashback. So I did a center start on this. And this is where I am. Sorry for the folds. But I the had colors the... colors so good. Yeah, I had the center fruit, looks like a grapefruit, in the middle and the clock hands. And so yesterday I went up and I did the three cherries... And the lemon slice, and the mint leaves, and the cucumber slices. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, you do such a better job. I love the cucumber slices and the cherries. You know what I like the best? I love those mint leaves. I oh, really? Love them. That's cute. I, I really love the... So that's on... These colors against the green. This looks great. That's on 36... Um, what is it? A martini. Oh, yeah, Martini from Be Stitch Me. It is. And so I'm using one strand. It's just like, look at those little cucumber slices. Aren't they so cute? Yeah, it's just totally fun. It's beautiful. I mean, man. when this thing is done with all these drinks I on know. It, man, it's going to look amazing. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. It's I mean, this so is an amazing, amazing church. chart. Yeah. I so concur. I, I had a lot of fun with that yesterday. I assume those are cucumbers. I don't Let know. Let me see. I don't know. Oh, 100%. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then today was Sunday stocking sale. Mm -hmm. So I am doing... I'm going through these fast. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. I don't care, parents. <clears throat> I am doing an old Jan Lynn stocking kit called Christmas Lighthouse Stocking. Looks like that. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I pulled this out this morning and I thought, where do I go? Where do I go? So I decided that I would work on the top of the lighthouse. So I got oh my above goodness. the white. That looks so awesome. Doesn't it though? Mm -hmm. Looks great. So I can't wait for back this, stitch. This part, everything above the white and yellowy tones I did this morning. Or till, till after the ball game was over. Yeah. So that's where I am with that. And um, so I have a whole week of sales. What's the fabric on that one, Pam? This is As You Wish from Leslie. Mm -hmm. from Under the Sea. Under, under the Sea. Under the Sea. So um, that was fun to work on. And then <clears throat> when we're done with, <coughs> with filming and we have dinner... And before I go to bed, mm -hmm. I will go back to my Quakers in Scotland. Okay. Until bedtime. That's yep. kind of... Until nighty night. That's kind of what I've been doing. So, uh, did I cover everything? Animal ABC, Oz, Live on Little, Steinbeck House, 5 o'clock, and Scotland. Yep, and stocking, which was added. And stocking, which was added. Yes. So, those are our whips of the week. Okay. Oh, curb. Promotions. Promotions. Welcome to the Triple P. This and is, this is where we talk about things we want to promote. Yes, it's the promotional portion of the program. Okay, so first we are going to talk about the So Much True Love 
project bag of the month club. And um, this is the April bag of the month. We do see. It's so cute. Yeah. I can't even handle it. Cuteness overload. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so we have been members of the So Much Love Project Bag of the Month Club for a few years now. And um, it's easily one of my favorite packages to get every month. It is a exclusive handmade bag. The bag is only available to club members. and But not only do you get the bag, you get a bunch of awesome goodies that come with it that are all on the same theme. So, uh, and then she writes, uh, Karen, she writes a letter, um, just a little notes, and then a little explanation of all the things that are inside of the bag. So, uh, we always get a little treat. We got some Jelly Bellies. Then we get always get a package of stash tea, and this is acai berry tea. Oh, can't smell it at all. Um, then we got a little purple. What do you think? What's wrong? Nothing. Oh, a purple polka dot scissor sheath. I love this color purple. We got three very springy skeins of DMC for our stash. Then this month we got an exclusive chart. It was designed by Karen of So Much to Love. You guys, the name of it, I die, is called Bunny Floss Bobbin. And I wish that was my name. <laughs> Look at her. Isn't she cute as heck? Oh, I love her so much. I like the ears and the ginormous carrot in her hand. And she's obviously wearing a floss dress. Yeah. A bobbin dress. And the color that is purple. I don't know what it is. It's violet, but it looks over dyed. Interesting. So it's all DMC. Very, very cute. Love it so much. But you could find a purple over dyed too. Oh, yeah. That for sure. So how freaking cute is that? Yeah. Very. And, um, yep. Got everything. And then you guys want to see the bag. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I love it so much. Get ready. Just, just take a second. Look at the little bunny. Look at the little chicks. Oh, I love it. Look at him. Look at the, where's, where's, where's the brown one? Look at the, oh, boop. Oh, look at him, he's so proud. And that's on the back as well. Just so freaking mm -hmm. cute. So cute. I just, I want him to bring me flowers. Thank you. And then, um, per usual, there is the um, hand-sewn felt heart. I love this purple. And then um, the Rick Rack situation. And then the inside fabric, which I'm assuming that the inside fabric and outside fabric are part of the same collection because look at all those carrots and eggs yeah oh it's adorable mm -hmm. i love this bag so much it's incredible yeah. so um if you are obsessed with this bag not as i am because it's so cute um if karen has any extras left over then those bags will be for sale on their Etsy shop. So just keep an eye there. Um, if there's any available there, she will post them for you to snag. That's right. Okay. And then um, our next promotion is, of course, the Twin Peak Primitives Pattern of the Week. So we've been working with the twins at Twin Peak Primitives for years. And so every week we pick a pattern that we love, that we think that you'll love too, um, or... They have a chart that is new that they would like us to promote, and that is what happened this week. Right. So this is a brand new release from Twin Peak Primitives. If you like spooky, if you like Halloween, if you like Twin Peak Primitives, yeah. this is your vibe, okay? It's called Haunted Chateau. Haunted Chateau. And it is fantastic. It is so good. Because it is a medieval castle. Or chateau. It's a chateau, and, bam. And there are knights in it. Like, as in... Knights. Knights. Yeah. And um, 
Kanite's helmets with <laughs> spiders hanging off them. Kanite. And so let's show them. Yes, let's a insert picture. a picture here. Spooky, spooky. It is fantastic. We love it so much. And it is, did you say with the discount? Nope, I haven't gotten that far yet. Okay, but I'll have a jelly bean and you talk. Okay, so if you love Haunted Chateau as much as we love Haunted Chateau, then, and you want to get your hands on a copy that is also coincidentally 23% off. Right. Please don't eat them all. And I want some too. <laughs> this one is creamsicle. I'm very excited. If you want to get the Haunted Chateau, and you have to say it like that, Haunted Chateau, <laughs> then you can get a discounted PDF from the Twin Peak Primitive website or the Twin Peak Primitive Etsy shop. If you would prefer a hard copy of the chart, that's totally fine too. However, the only place you can get it discounted is the Daily Stitcher, which is an online needlework shop. And all of the places where you can buy that chart are in the description box below. There you go. You don't need any special code. You don't need any do a dance, something like that. It's already discounted, so just add it to your cart and check out. And um, it will be discounted. I swear. Discounted for one full week. So, if episode 296 is up, or 297, episode 297 is up, then the discount on this chart no longer applies. Correct. Okay. And they've already posted on Instagram and everything. Yeah, yeah, they have. So. Haunted Chateau. Go get your Chateau. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. There is. Absolutely. No. Mail call. None. So. That means it's time for all. That's right. Okay, Pam, why don't you go? Okay. I picked this up. Uh, stash unload, I think. Um, okay. That's what you told me. Yeah. Um. I think so they unless did you lie, for, I, that's where you got it. No, I think they did one for every season. They did it. We have them. Um, and this is the Blackboard Sampler from Vet Creek. Mm -hmm. But this listing included, for a very reasonable price, mm -hmm. um, country French linen and all of the overdives, and it's the Blackboard Sampler. So, you know, I love, we love the Vet Creek girls. Mm -hmm. And this Really seemed like a good deal with all of the, um, all the stuffs, all the linen and all the threads. You know so, who I think has stitched all four of these? Jen. Lee. Oh, yeah? I think. So, pick that up. That's it. Okay. So, I've got a little bit more haul, but that's okay. So, I've got, um, so, I always give this background information before I show something from Keepsakes, but... We live in Cincinnati. The LNS here is Keepsakes. I work at Keepsakes. So, um, when I place orders, I get things for myself too. Because it's the perk, you know? So, this is new from Barbara Anna. And it is called Steampunk Fox. Look at that thing. Would you just look at her? Had to get it. I mean. Absolutely had to get it. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Uh huh. Yeah. It's cute, right? Mm hmm. I have no intention of stitching it on fabric like that because that, I don't understand that, if I'm being fully honest. Right. But I'm going to stitch her for sure. Yeah. Have I think you ever it's a heard her. anybody explain why she framed it that way? No. Well, I think she wanted to show off this fabric. This is a fa fabric flare fabric called Vintage Ephemera Damask. Even weave from fabric flare. I don't get it. But I think just to show that off, I think is part of it. Hmm. Like if you didn't show, if you didn't, if you cut the frame off there, you wouldn't see all this stuff because there's stitching here. Oh well. So okay. That's my thought. But uh, okay. To be fair on you. So fun fact: I had a tree guy out this past week, mm. and um, when I was pointing to a tree that I was concerned about possibly falling mm -hmm. um he went out on the back deck to um hear what i had to say whatever yep and he said 
by the time I got out there, he'd already been out there a couple of minutes, and mm -hmm. he said, do you have any small dogs? And I said, no, we have two house cats. <laughs> and he said, oh, I wanted to ask because I think I just saw a coyote. And I said, Yikes. Mm, haven't really heard about coyotes in our area. It probably was a fox because mm -hmm. you guys know. Foxes love us. Foxes love us. And we love foxes. And, so, and we get foxes in the spring. In the spring. So maybe we'll see some foxes. Mm -hmm. The it's, cats are doing a really good job of minding the kitchen window. Yeah. And we did see two bunnies. I saw well, two. Well, Peter lives here. Well, and then by the time you got up, one was still out on the front lawn. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. And um, um, we haven't mowed yet. I know some of you still have snow. So I love how you say we, as if you mow. I over, I oversee it. You oversell it. That's what you do. <laughs> no, I don't oversell it, but <laughs> I do the heavy looking on. Yeah. Anyway, so. So, it was probably a fox. Anyway. Anyway. We love foxes. Yes. Okay, so when I, when we went to Galleria last year, um, and I was in the Silver Needle room. Silver Needle is at LNS in Tulsa. They have a room there where they sell stuff. They have a wall of Mill Hill products. They sure do. And um, like the little kits and things. Mm -hmm. And they sell out of a lot of them. And so they were out of one that I really wanted. And so when I got home, I just ordered it for myself through Keepsakes. And it literally took until this week for it to come in. That's how back ordered beads and products are. So, I am happy to report that this Mill Hill, which is the Buttons and Beads Winter Series Christmas Village, the bookseller. Look at the happy to report that it's in. There you go. And I just love the little book button. And I'm pretty sure that's a cat. Because there's another cat. Got it. And I love the person up here. And of course, because it's a mail hook, it comes with all the stuffs. Yeah. So that's great. We love that. Are you going to do it on the perforated paper or are you going to do it on fabric? I haven't gone that far yet. Okay. I haven't gone that far. Probably on the paper. Okay. Because I like it in the frame like that. Mm hmm You know? Mm hmm Okay. We got the next installment of the um, Country Cottage Needleworks Big City Christmas. This is the hotel. And I think it's so cute. With the little bellhop and the little luggage cart. Oh, it's so cute. Did, 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 did. Oh. It's so cute. I love it so much. Super, super cute. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Then, the last chart that I got um, is actually a booklet. And um, this was published by Teresa Vanette. Um, and... Oh, Shelly and Justine showed. I think Shelly picked it up. Okay. Um, and I bought a few copies for the shop. I don't know if we still have them. They might have sold on Saturday. I don't know. Um, and then um, I got one for myself. And this is her latest book called The Most Humble... Called Most Humble Hands. Mm -hmm. This is what the cover looks like. Paperback. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very similar to like a Blackbird book. Mm -hmm. I think she actually might use the same publisher. Mm -hmm. So that is the front cover. Mm -hmm. This is the back cover. And this book is absolutely incredible. So the first page says, Dedicated to those who have passed their love of the needle onto others. I mean, look at that. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. So there is there are charts in here. There are information. There's information in here. There's history, history in here. Mm -hmm. um, there's a big uh, article called The Marking Sampler, Runt of the Litter. Notes about how to use this book. Um, then um, this is probably, I think this is my one of my favorite ones in the book. But it says, this sampler was given to me by Mrs. William Gerling of Scarning, who was so kind as to put me to school and to teach me herself on Sundays. And I just love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't want to crease it, but. Right. 
it's a plus it's a road sampler so like i'm obviously into it mm -hmm. and then just all sorts of information about all the samplers um there's another sampler here mm -hmm. beautiful um and this is the one that was on the back so this one says how to how to adopt an antique marking sampler the one that was on the back is called t pharaoh november 15th I love it. Oh, I love it. Um, and just like, just so much, like, it's just so good. Like, mm -hmm. so if you are a sampler person, if you love to learn about the history of needlework, um, it's just fascinating. Like, it's an incredible, incredible book. I mean, look at this. Mm-hmm. And this talks about like the layout is fabulous. Yeah, it's exceptional. Mm -hmm. Then it says, "Whose name do I stitch?" Question mark. Um, and miniature samplers, a specialty collectible. Um, I really, I can't wait to like just sit down and like read the yeah, book, like right. read the information, because mm -hmm. um, Trace is just a, in my opinion, a beacon of knowledge in this industry in this community, and just she has so much experience and knowledge and information yeah. to share and yeah. I just really respect her a lot and um so I'm just really happy to have this book and to see yeah what she has to share so that um I highly recommend if you are into any of the topics I just talked about <laughs> absolutely okay and now I got some couple project bags to show you mm -hmm. so this first one is I'm really you guys I'm really into the patchwork bags right now. It's like my vibe. Okay. So, um, the first bag is from one of my favorite makers. I mean, they're both my favorite makers to be fair, but, uh, it's Starry Owl Stitchery on Etsy. And, um, I think she, what did she call this? I think she called it the fruit cocktail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fruit cocktail. Um, uh, which this should be the bag that you're, five o'clock is in what do you think yes i do okay maybe i'll allow it maybe um if i behave yeah <laughs> are you guys ready bam oh gosh that's pretty isn't it so pretty yeah. Yeah. just like the craftsmanship yeah and okay i'm gonna tell tell you something okay I love a vinyl front bag. I love a vinyl front bag. I love the convenience of a vinyl front bag to just like not have to open it to see what's inside it. However, all of my project bags are together in a big tub, right? So when I go to pull things out for like Whipco or whatever, if the bag is not made with high quality or good quality vinyl, then the charts, because when I put stuff in the bag, I put chart touching vinyl so maybe that's my fault maybe i shouldn't do that yeah. but i don't want my cross stitch exposed to the vinyl either yeah yeah so anyway yeah it just it doesn't end well for any party involved and so i've been kind of discouraged by that yeah so um you haven't had any disasters no no, no. nothing has been ruined by any means but it's just it it can stick to the vinyl and anyway whatever so this is my new favorite bag. <laughs> the way to do it kind just of bag. gorgeous. I love them so much. Because, like, think about all the time it took to do this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, speaking of that. So, this one's from Starry Owl Stitchery. So, for both this and the next bag that I'm going to show, my hashtag pro tip is to follow these makers on Instagram. Yeah. Turn on your post notifications for them. Mm -hmm. Because they will post before they put these up for sale so you can set your timer your alarm clock your whatever so you can be in the running to get one because they will and they do sell out quickly so that is our yellow stitchery and then this is from my girl jess at como stitches oh i love it so much prepare yourselves people oh Oh, I love it. 
look at the colors like the corals and the teals mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. greens and yellows and blues oh it's just gorgeous yeah. so i wonder how long it takes either of these gals so one two three four to seven. take these little squares so this is seven by five squares and this is seven by six squares okay so this one is just a, a little bit deeper yeah a little yeah. bit taller yeah but what i was starting to say was i Sorry. wonder how long it takes for them to take all of these cuts mm. and rearrange them like tiles until they're happy right with the color distribution with and the ba color balance and everything i bet it's kind of fun oh i bet it's really fun i forgot to show you the inside of the fruit cocktail bag cute it's sherry's and her zipper pull has a little owl charm and then mm -hmm. I love this little like mint green yep. thing. Mm -hmm. And then the inside of Como Stitches bag. First of all, I'm obsessed with this coral zipper. Oh, it's luscious. I love it so much. <laughs> and then the inside is this perfect white soft yep. polka dot. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And like the craft the craftsmanship, craftswomanship. Oh, and this is the back. Bam. Yeah. So pretty. Uh, it's just it's just so good like it's just like so there's two to good be bag able makers. to patchwork bag you obviously have to be good with a sewing machine yeah like clearly with right <laughs> so like good. so your corners are gonna be great your zippers oh, are gonna yeah. be great all the things so these girls are pros highly recommend okay yep. okay so that is all the haul yeah it is okay Add to cart. Okay, what's next, Pammy? BMAC. Okay, ready. Okay. Oh, to... yep. We're recording. Here we are. Yep. Oh, I'm glad I didn't, you know, burp or anything. Anyway, I I um, when I say BMAC, I mean buy me a coffee. Yep. And um, like I've said many times before, uh, as far as our intentions is to keep ads off this channel. Mm -hmm. uh, being fully aware that um, YouTube is the ruler of us all. Mm -hmm. But um, we do think that if you would like to thank us for our efforts, you should have a way to do that. Mm -hmm. And so we have put both a buy me a coffee and a Ko-Fi link in our description box. Mm -hmm. And they are totally optional, obviously. We will keep doing floss tubes Regardless. Uh, regardless. Yeah. But we do uh, segregate those funds and use them for framing, finishing, and postal expenses. Um, and uh, oftentimes you'll see the final product behind us. Often. If it is uh, used for framing. Mm -hmm. We have uh, quite a nice group of very generous uh, people who have given us funds through those platforms. Mm -hmm. and Can I do the first three? You may do the first three. Thank you so much. So, thank you. Robin. Thank you, Robin. Janice. Thank you, Janice. I just really love saying the name Janice. It's like a thing. Also, Michelle. Thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you, Charlene. Thank you so much, Charlene. Jackie. Thanks so much, Jackie. Jen. Thank you so much. And Carol. Thank you all very, yes. very much. So if you feel so inclined to donate Correct. to our Buy Me A Coffee or Ko-Fi links, they are in the description box below. Right. Okay. okay. All right. Um, one thing I wanted to mention in plants. Oh, boy. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may know, uh, or if, you, if we're friends on Facebook, mm -hmm. um, that uh, June 11th of this year, will mark the 30th anniversary of the day that I received my breast cancer diagnosis. Yes. In 1993. It's um, a great day. <laughs> and well. I, um, you know, I feel like it was a prior life. It was mm. so long ago. Um, it was kind of like... Um, uh, it was kind of like the way I felt when we went back to Albuquerque, you know, it mm. just was like nothing was the way it was when we lived in Albuquerque when we were there a couple of weeks ago. Um, 
So, anyway, a lot's changed. A lot of water under the dam in 30 years. Oh, well, sure, yeah. But I would like to um, host a sal oh, um, awesome. to, to mark my 30 years of um, getting past this horrible mm -hmm. disease and to give an opportunity uh, for other survivors or family members of survivors as well. Mm -hmm. And um, I got... A lot of suggestions from some lovely people on both Facebook and Instagram for designs to use. I decided early on not to gravitate toward the traditional pink ribbon kind of design. Yeah. Um, and nothing wrong with that. Just wasn't nothing wrong with it. But I I wanted something more unique, and um, just an update that um, we have pinpointed the design um and i asked stephanie to order um four or five um from their distributor <laughs> so she um got her hoffman order at the shop yeah and it noted that there was a problem with getting this particular design right and she called me yesterday right mm -hmm. And you said, I think there may be a problem. And I was like, oh, darn it. Because you really wanted to I it. think that I, I hate to go back to the drawing board and come up with another one. And it wasn't just like finding one copy for you. It was finding it. <clears throat> right. I wanted it copies. to be readily available if somebody wanted to do a sal yeah. of that particular, absolutely. you know, um, design. design. Mm -hmm. So, so um, I was like, wait, we have, I don't want to tell you what it is. Yeah. Until we have, have it but Stephanie hand. did some recon mm -hmm. and was able to obtain multiple copies of this. Plenty of copies. Don't and it will be available at Keepsakes when they come in. Yep. And as soon as I have a hard copy of it in my hot little hand to show you guys on FlossTube. Right. And obviously Instagram and Facebook. Um, get it. You will know what I am stitching. Yeah. Um, the sale will start on June 11th. Oh. On the anniversary Very day, exciting. which is the Sunday of Weekend A of StitchCon. And um, it will be an open-ended sale. Um, yeah. And it will also not be limited to that particular design. So if there is uh, another see. design that represents uh, breast cancer survival or cancer breast survival. cancer warrior or anything in that vein... Mm -hmm. That can you're more than welcome to use that particular Absolutely. hashtag. It's going to be Pam's Survival Sal. Yes. Okay. So there's a lot of S's in there. Pam's and, Survival Sal. Um, I think probably next week. Um, oh yeah, we'll be able to show it on here. And that um, is my hope and dream for you. The Pam. the the, um, <laughs> the uh, designer is someone that I'm a big fan of, so that's mm. special to me. Yep. And I think that um, you'll uh, be excited to know what it is. Um, and if you want to start early, fine, but I'm not going to start mine until the day of. You know, when I'm about to, you know, fall asleep standing up on Sunday of, <laughs> of uh, weekend A. You mean we're Con. halfway through SitchCon? Well, you know, at the tail end oh, of I, do I know. Yeah. Sunday, we know. But anyway, just wanted to give you an update on um, the... Um, yeah, the cell. The cell yep. that is coming in June. And, of course, I have a couple of empty slots in my right. um, cell schedule. Yes, so we know what's going in one of those I'm slots, ready. huh? I'm ready. Okay, so that's going to do it, right? That's all I've Nothing got. Nothing else you got? Nope. Okay, and we'll be back next week. Uh -huh. uh, we hope that you are uh, doing well, um, that you're happy, healthy, and safe. We're in a dream. And um, if, you know, if you have challenges in any of those areas, we sincerely hope that the time you spend with us every week um, helps to get through that. Absolutely. So. Great. Wait. Well put, Pam. Well put? Okay, good. Yeah. I like to be well put. I know you do. <laughs> All right. It's time for us to rustle up some grub and um, get back to stitching. Okay. Yeah. And um, we'll see you next week. Yeah, In the meantime, I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. <laughs> this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Stitching. Bye. Bye.